Are you ready? In 1997, two best friends formed WWE's most notorious faction. The Generation X, Triple H, Generation And revolutionized sports entertainment. You make your rules, and we will break up. Forever. We only got two words for ya. But injuries sidelined the showstopper until tonight the game brings you the showstopper the icon Shawn Michaels let's get ready to suck it well it's time to face facts Sean and the fact is, the game has passed you by. Shawn Michaels and I were never best friends. I used Shawn Michaels to get to the top. Now I am the showstopper. Now I am the icon. What the hell do you want? Stage manager. Tell the game something. Keep going. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? Somebody get help. Somebody go and get some help. Somebody obviously ran his head right through the side of that car window. The only thing I know for sure, it was you, Hunter. You're damn right it was me, Sean. I was trying to prove a point, that you are weak, you are vulnerable. You think I'm weak? I recognize that I'm not in the best of shape right now. The doctors have told me that I'll make a full recovery. In fact, they say I'll be 100%. 100% by, say, uh, SummerSlam. What? Was that some kind of a challenge? You're damn right. The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. I know I can't wrestle anymore, but I can still fight. And the time to fight is now. The game, Triple H. This time, I won't stop. I am coming to end your career. A non-sanctioned match. has had several life-changing experiences since his retirement. This match is all about passion and pride, the evilness and the ego of a man that Michaels used to call his best friend, Triple H.
The following contest, non-sanctioned, is scheduled for one fall. Introducing from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 272 pounds, Triple H. Triple H is the second Grand Slam winner in WWE. How could Triple H turn on Michaels? Michaels helped propel Triple H to main event status. I'll tell you how, because Triple H is a two-faced individual. Only a two-faced individual would put their arm around Michaels and then put his face through the passenger side door of a car window. Former best friends turned bitter enemies. Michaels wants to exact some revenge on Triple H after being blindsided by a pedigree and put through a car window. Yeah, Michael, I don't think any of my best friends would put my head through a car window. You might, but it's hard to believe Triple H would do such a thing. He did it. It was on tape, and we all saw him standing there. He couldn't have been caught more red-handed in such a despicable act. What a vicious chop! And the knuckles connect. This arena has hosted some of WWE's most memorable cards, including the New York portion of WrestleMania II, featuring the main event of Mr. T versus Roddy Piper in a boxing match. Well, you're right, Michael. There's been a lot of great moments here, but perhaps none have been as emotionally charged as this one we're witnessing in the ring. He gets out of trouble there. Shawn Michaels gets out of that one. Nice move. And there's the reversal. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. Well, we've seen some great action here tonight at SummerSlam, Cole, and we're not even done yet. We still have the undisputed WWE Championship match. That's right, King. It'll be Brock Lesnar challenging The Rock for the richest prize in the industry, the undisputed WWE title. And if Brock Lesnar can beat The Rock, he'll become the youngest WWE Champion in history at just 25 years of age. It's hard to believe what Brock Lesnar has achieved so far. Since his debut earlier this year, he's beaten two of the greatest competitors of all time and Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. And let's not forget, he also beat Rob Van Dam in the finals to become the prestigious WWE King of the Ring. Well, anything goes in an unsanctioned street fight. It's one fall to a finish, and Triple H knows this. This is his kind of brawl. The game feeds on moments like this. You know, you're right, King. If there's anything that Triple H looks forward to, it's an all-out war, and he's looking one right in the face tonight. I mean, he's gotten what he wants. Oh, cool. That is one fact that we cannot dispute. Triple H is here for one reason only, to prove his point that Michaels is weak. He'll have to prove it right now. Well, Michaels wants to exact some revenge on Triple H after being blindsided by a pedigree and put through a car window. I don't blame him one bit. Could you imagine your best friend doing that to you? No, I can't, King, and no one here could either based on the response of this electrified crowd. I would say most everyone in this arena tonight is on the side of Shawn Michaels. Well, I agree, Cole. Just look at these people. I mean, they are definitely in Michaels' corner and showing it right now as we speak. Tonight marks the first SummerSlam match for Shawn Michaels since 1996 when he successfully defended his WWE title against Vader. You're right. This event has proven to be a somewhat lucky event for Michaels. He's unbeaten when competing in single matches at SummerSlam, including wins over Razor Ramon and Mr. Perfect. Oh, 
and a terrific reversal by Triple H. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. That landed like a ton of bricks. Try as he might, Triple H can't put Michaels away. Michael's showing all kinds of character here, and the game needs to find a way to impose his will on Sean. Well, that's easier said than done, Cole. Triple H is as tough as they come, but when you find yourself up against a guy with so much... Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Triple H just shoving the referee. And out with a steel chair to Michaels. This is so brutal. Triple H is just trying to destroy... Shawn Michaels. Forget about just winning the match. Yeah, what is wrong with Triple H? I think he's trying to cripple HBK. What has happened to this guy? Wait a guy? minute, not, not, not this. Not on the oh, chair. Oh, right through the steel chair. That's got to be it. This is torture. Cover. And Michaels somehow stays in it. What? And again a cover. And again HBK kicks out. I think it's gone past the will to win for Shawn Michaels. Now it's just the will to survive. But can anybody survive this onslaught from the game? Well, Triple H is living. Triple H cannot believe that Shawn Michaels is still in this thing. Oh. Oh. He's going to continue to punish and the torture chair. Michaels. Here's the cover. And again, HBK gets the shoulder up. Cover again. And again, Michaels powers out. And again, a cover. And again, Michaels powers out. This is absolutely unbelievable. And of course, you can see, Triple H cannot believe it. Triple H. How, how is Shawn Michaels surviving this, Michael? Well, Triple H is getting extremely frustrated. And we know how dangerous Triple H can be when he's frustrated. Oh, man. The game has to be so frustrated. Look at him. He's got to be so frustrated that, that Shawn Michaels is surviving here somehow. Remember, King, it was Shawn Michaels who convinced Triple H to join the Raw brand last month. You have to want... Uh, hey! Wow, he was just about to get his head taken off. Hear it? Oh, my gosh, he stopped it. Man, I thought he was done for. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh! I thought he was going to get leveled there. There's another huge shot. And again, the cane makes that horrible cracking sound. He's picked that cane back up. Watch it. Oh, stopped at the last second. A hard knockdown. And Triple H might not know where he is. He's heading back up. This guy's just getting worn out. You know, Triple H claims that he put Shawn Michaels' head through that car window to prove that he was weak. Yeah, well, I think HBK proved otherwise. Oh, it looks like Shawn Michaels has had enough. It's time to tune up the band. Sweet tin music time for the heartbreak kid. Triple H trying to struggle back to his feet. And here it comes. And, whoa, wait a minute. The game catches HBK in its pedigree time. And that way, look at this. Jackknife cover by HBK. He got it. Michaels got it. Unbelievable. Michaels wins it. This is unbelievable. I can't believe it. Here is your winner, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. After one of the most brutal, severe beatdowns I have ever seen, somehow, HBK. Oh! Oh, my God. Triple H with a sledgehammer. Not that. From behind. After everything Sean has survived, now the sledgehammer. Come on. Oh, no. Come on, referee. Get the hammer away from the game. This is too much. Sickening. He's going to cripple Sean Michaels. He may have already done it. Disgusting.